Okay, I will be reviewing the uh, Sterling um, Ray 34 Custom. Uh, as you can see, it comes in a white finish. Um, it has the humbucker over here. It has a three band EQ. Um, this is your um, treble, your mids, and your lows, your bass. Um, master volume. Um, one thing I like about this bass is that it has a thick neck. That's uh, probably one of my favorite features on the um, bass. Um, it's probably one of the most important features of the bass too, as far as uh, playability. If you know, you gotta get a bass that's comfortable with you, and then it all starts with the neck and you know how heavy it is. Um, just as a heads up, this is a very heavy bass. Um, this bass probably weighs about 11 to 12 pounds compared to the flea bass, which probably weighs about eight. Um, I'm not sure, but yeah, this is a very heavy bass, but you know, I can live with that. Um, it comes with, it, as you can see, it's, uh, it's, the logo is right there. Uh, the tone, I really like the tone of this thing, you know, it gives you that, you know, that punchy tone that you're familiar with, with the Stingray. Um, let's see. I usually set my, uh, bass all the way up and my, uh, my, um, uh, treble uh, about halfway it gives me that you know that right um, punch that I needed not too much but just very little just like Let me turn up the um, let me turn up the treble all the way up, and the mids are still all the way. Um, I really you don't use my uh, I don't use my the mids a lot, but I you know I I sometimes do when I play a lot different you know different styles of music. But here's uh, how it sounds like with the um, treble all the way up. Yeah, so that that's how it sounds like. Um, as for finger style, it sounds like it sounds really good. Yep, you know, this tone really uh, it amazes me a lot. Um, yeah, you know, I really recommend this bass if you like, you know, that, you know, that, uh, that, you know, Rage Against the Machine tone, you know, the first album that they put out. Tim Comfort actually used this bass. Not this bass exactly, but the Stingray. Um, and Flea, of course, Flea uses it. Everybody knows that. And a bunch of other people use it, like, uh, I'm not sure what it is. Joe Lolly from uh, uh, Fugazi, I think. If I'm wrong, just please correct me. Um, yeah, so they, a lot of those people they uh, they use this bass a lot, and also that uh, um, that guy who um, I don't know if you know the song "Get on the Floor" uh, by J uh, Michael Jackson. The bass on that song was actually um, that was actually a Stingray. So there you go. Okay, so um, I'm gonna um, play my the flea bass, and I'm just gonna compare the you know the tones, uh, the different tones that um, it puts out. To me, this bass is far superior to the flea bass. Um, so if you're thinking about getting a flea bass, um, you can. It's there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's a good bass. It's just that 
I think this really hits um, uh, hits the spot on as well the tone. If you're looking for that stingray tone or that flea tone, I, uh, I would get this bass as opposed to the stingray. There's nothing. I mean, that's, excuse me, the flea bass. Um, you're gonna see in a minute why I think you know this is far superior. It's a bit more expensive than the flea bass. The flea bass retails for uh, from the 200 to 500. Uh, this retails for about $600. Um, it's a bit expensive, but you get you know what you pay for. It's a really good bass, and I, I recommend it for to, uh, for any beginner. So yeah, so I'm gonna um, get the flea bass out. Okay, so here's the flea bass. As you can see, it has a very, very thin neck, um, which is good. You know, it's not really what I like in a bass. I, I like prefer um, thicker necks because I have big hands and very fat fingers. Hence the um, the username. But yeah, um, this bass is really good um, as far as you know how it feels. But the tone compared to the st uh, my Sterling or my Ray 34 uh, the tone really doesn't match up to what I like in a in a bass sound so let me So yeah, um, that's um, the flea bass for you. Um, don't get me wrong, this is a very nice bass, but um, compared to the uh, Sterling uh, Ray 34, um, the tone of that bass just blows this bass out of the water. Water, excuse me, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, there there goes my two um, comparisons. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, Yes, that's really all I gotta say. Oh, and I uh, might as well show you the amp that I'm using. Uh, let's see. Here's the amp. It's uh, it's basically a, a PV uh, 110. Uh, it, it's a um, it's it's a nice amp. I like the uh, the sound that you can get out of it. It even has like a um, like a I don't know a voice change or like I don't know how what you call it, but you can like switch it to modern or vintage. Vintage is more of like a, a, you know, that dirtier sound, and I would say it's a thinner sound. It's like a, it's like a compressor almost. Not not exactly, but you know, you get the gist of it. Um, so yeah, that's the amp that I use, that I use for all of my the, all the videos that I'm gonna make pretty soon. Uh, I hope you you like my review. If, if you didn't, I'm sorry. Sorry I wasted 10 minutes of your life, but yeah, um, there's my review of the uh, Stingray. Excuse me, I keep on saying Stingray, but it's a Ray 34. Not exactly the Stingray, but you know, it's close enough. <laughs>